let's talk about maybe just a couple of quick tips that I kind of came up with when creating this particular slide deck. When it comes to creating video slide content, there are a couple of things that some people tend to kind of get hung up in. And some of those have to do with animation. So I'm going to give you one kind of little tip and trick here. So when you watch this video, what you're going to see is that this particular slide has a couple of bullet points and then this image will change to reflect what the bullet topic is about. A lot of folks will be tempted to create a single slide and then try to animate all kinds of things in and out to do that. <laughs> and here's a way that I do it and I think it's just so much less complicated. So the first thing I do, I kind of create a slide with all four bullets on it. So I create this almost kind of master slide and I don't really care what the image is at this point. I have my four bullets here and I'm going to have four different images come in with each of these bullet points. But I don't want to, like I say, animate the bullets in and then try to change these images and stuff like that. I want the images to change because I don't want to put four images on one slide, but this is going to kind of flow rather nicely. And let me just flip through this. I'll show you the end result, and then we'll go backtrack here and, and pick this up. So it's a way to do animations without animating. So watch how this goes. So I'll go into slideshow mode, and the first bullet comes in, and that's my image. I'm going to click and you'll notice that the second bullet comes in and this image fades in on t you know replacing the other one and then it does it again I click and it does it again so the secret sauce there is I don't try to animate on a single slide I'm gonna make four copies of this slide so I duplicate this four times right and now on the first slide I'm going to delete the first three bullets on the second slide I'm going to delete the last two bullets and on this slide I'm going to delete the last bullet and on this slide I'm going to leave everything together so without the pictures let's just kind of see how that rolls instead of animating bullets in on a single slide I now just click and I use a transition. Let's go to the transitions here, just a fade transition on each slide. So the slide advances and fades in whatever is on this next slide. The slide advances and fades in whatever is on this slide. So to finish it up, I'll just go ahead and, you know, I've found my images and I'll paste this okay and then on my second slide the image changes to this guy right and the transition does the fade from this to this here's what a lot of people will be tempted to do <laughs> well let's paste that right so the first one needs to animate out and then this one needs to animate in and oh my gosh you are going to end up with just a unholy nightmare trying to maneuver with something like this <coughs> such an easier trick to let powerpoint transitions and multiple slides do the animations for you okay is that kind of handy kind of handy dandy for everybody it's one of those little tricks that is really useful especially when you're using one of the methods to record the PowerPoint slides because the animations and stuff just need to match the narration and it's easier when you go into slideshow mode to just have one click okay that changed everything it wasn't a click to make it animate out and make the other thing animate in this is a trick I use a lot <laughs> 